We finally made it to 2021. By the time this episode goes live, we will be well into 2021, probably six weeks or so in. But it's still the beginning of 2021. And I have been thinking a lot about how 2020 and COVID and remote working changed the landscape of sales, including, you know, growing you to feel comfortable in front of camera, utilizing technologies to engage prospects, finding fun ways to still meet with prospects in a way that was safe, interactive, and engaging. And while a lot in the landscape has changed, many of the fundamentals have remained the same, including what you as a sales leader need to focus on to help set your team up for success. In this episode of Sales Fiction, we are sharing what the top sales leaders are working with their teams on right now to help set them up for success in 2021 and beyond. You won't want to miss this episode. Welcome to Sales Fiction, a podcast that helps small sales teams get big results. I'm your host, Christy Lawrence, the founder of Mighty Sales and a longtime sales professional who traded in my corporate sales career to help small but mighty teams do more with less. Each week on this podcast, we separate sales fact from sales fiction so that you can hyper-focus your effort on the skills, strategies, and tools that will have the biggest impact on your bottom line. Let's dive right in. So one of the things that I really love about my work, both as a sales trainer and as a sales consultant for startups and small businesses, is getting to work with sales leaders and learning from them just as much as their teams are learning from me. And it's been interesting watching trends from 2020 to 2021, what sales leaders are focused on. And I have noticed that the sales trends that the most successful sales leaders that I have worked with and follow in this industry, there are some core fundamentals that they consistently work with their teams on, whether these teams are newbies to sales or whether these teams have been in sales for a large amount of time. What I've found in that is that while it's easy to get sucked into changing trends, new technology, the cool newest way to do things, that really, truly the most successful sales leaders are working with their teams on core fundamentals that don't change. Now, that doesn't mean they're ignoring things like, how should you be showing up on video? And how do you get a client to meet with you virtually for a cup of coffee? But they're not getting distracted by those things in the detriment of building those core fundamentals. And so what I wanted to do, because it's the beginning of the year and momentum is so important that starting off strong is critically important is share the three tactics and the three key areas where I'm seeing top sales leaders consistently working with their sales teams so that you can implement these either for yourself individually or for your team. So without further ado, I'm going to dive into our first of the three things that top sales leaders are working with their teams are. And I'm going to do a little, can you hear my drum roll there, high tech? Many of my clients get tired of hearing me beat the drum of this, but picking up the phone. Now, this seems a little bit like smiling and dialing. People don't want to do it. But the top sales leaders that have the top teams consistently push their teams and themselves to pick up the phone on a regular basis. Now, it's interesting because there is a lot of resistance to picking up the phone. I will tell you 9 out of 10 people that I work with in terms of sales training or in terms of sales consulting would much rather send an email than pick up the phone and call somebody. But picking up the phone and calling somebody is one of the most effective ways to drive sales. And people think people don't answer the phone anymore, that the phone is dead. But that simply is not true. And so if you want yourself or your team to be successful, you have got to get comfortable picking up the phone and calling people. And within picking up the phone and calling people, there's three things that can really make a big difference. The first is nailing that first 30 seconds of the call. Having a way to engage with prospects that sets the tone for the conversation. If you can get your team dialed in on that intro statement and feeling comfortable and natural in that, when they're picking up the phone, 
you will see a huge difference in the number of appointments that your team is setting. So really doing trainings, really coaching, really developing, really providing feedback, scripts, and support around the first 30 seconds is critically important to help your team be successful in picking up the phone. The second thing is what happens when they don't answer, right? And so there's two tactics that I'm seeing consistently work in 2020. The first is calling right back. So doing a second phone call. If your call goes to voicemail, calling again. There's resistance to this. It feels salesy. It feels slimy. But people pick up the phone. The second time it rings, you're going to get a much higher answer ratio. And surprisingly, 99% of the time, people are really receptive to this once they've answered the phone. Occasionally, you're going to get someone that's annoyed that you called back twice. But more often than not, they accept that they answered the phone and they engage in conversations. So getting your team comfortable if they don't get an answer on that first dial, dialing again. Now, you're not always going to get an answer the second time, either because people are in a meeting, they're busy, they're doing other things, or they simply don't answer their phone and have it on vibrate. So what do you do then? What I've had a tremendous amount of success with in 2020, and I see going into 2021, this continuing working with my clients on is following up with an email or text almost instantaneously. So calling, leaving that voicemail and saying, hey, I'm also going to follow up with you by text in case that's easier for you. Or I'm also going to shoot you a quick email in case that might be easier for you. In particular, if you have someone's cell phone number, it's not a completely cold call or cold outreach. There's context. There's a reason why you're calling, which there should always be. Text is really, really successful in this. More people are on their cell phones than ever before because they're working from home. They're not tied to their office line. And people are used to responding with a quick yes or no in that text message. Now, the important thing is you're not selling in this text message. You're starting a conversation. And more often than not, the goal is to set up an appointment or a time to call. So making sure you have a clear ask in that text is important, keeping it focused on the customer and getting time to talk versus selling is really important. But that follow-up text gets tremendous results for people. So the first thing to recap that really is driving success for sales leaders and working with their teams is building confidence and competence on the phone, both in terms of just getting that first 30 seconds nailed down and then what to do to get better callbacks when people don't answer. And so if you want to be successful in 2021, the phone is your friend and making sure that your team has confidence and competence on the phone is going to make a huge, huge difference. If you do nothing else, do this. The second thing that I am seeing a lot of successful sales leaders do for 2021 is really working with their teams on pulsing technology. So we talked about the phone is your friend, the phone is powerful, but it's only one connection point. Too often, salespeople and sales teams rely on one format of communication, whether it's email, whether it's social media, whether it's the phone. But if you can pulse how you share and how you connect with your prospects, you will be much, much more successful. So thinking about this, if your goal is to get an appointment and you know you're going to want to have 10 touches, what types of touches are you engaging in? Is it that you're having a LinkedIn connection? Is it that you're sending a short video? Is it that you're picking up the phone and calling? Is it that you're sending a handwritten note? When you can pulse both asks in terms of sales asks for time, information and education that is insightful and adds value and the types of ways that you're reaching out and do that consistently over a period of time, whether it's eight touches in eight weeks, whether it's 10 touches in six weeks, whatever you are working for your team, having your team build competence around different touch points and using different technology and not relying on one approach to outreach, but instead being consistent in the follow-up via multiple methods is going to make a huge, huge difference for your team. So making sure you're working with your team so that they feel confident using multiple types of technology, multiple outreach avenues 
is going to help you set your team up for success in 2021. And the third and probably the most important, and this is such a sales fundamental that I go back to over and over and over again. And if you want your team to be successful, they have got to nail this competency. And that is asking questions. Question based selling is going to have a huge impact. The biggest mistake that salespeople make is that they talk too much. They share too much about the features of their product or service without truly engaging the prospect. And when you can use questions to strategically shape your solution and the conversation as it relates to that, your team will win more deals. And so the best sales leaders are consistently helping their team ask better and more strategic question. They're working with their teams on what makes a good question. They're working with their teams on how do you ask questions in a way that they're pulsed and engaging so that you don't sound like an interrogator, right? You're not trying to sit here and interview your client. You're trying to ask questions that the question in and of themselves adds value to the prospect. Just the process of answering the question gets the prospect thinking and solving problems. And when you help your team ask those types of questions on a consistent basis, your team will sell more in 2021. And most importantly, using questions to really reframe the way that prospects are thinking about their problems and the solutions to those problems is the single biggest thing that top sales leaders are doing to help their teams succeed in 2021. So I've shared with you three ways that I'm seeing that sales leaders that are succeeding are working with their teams right now. And that's competence and confidence on the phone, feeling comfortable using different types of technology and following up using different avenues, and really nailing, asking, compelling strategic questions that engage prospects. But I want to hear from you. What are you finding is helping your team be successful in 2021? Is there something that you helped your team with in 2020 that moved the needle? If there is, I want to hear about it. Share it in the comments. You can connect also on Facebook. We have a Mighty Sales Facebook group. Pop it in there or shoot me an email. And I want to hear what are you seeing that's really moving the needle with your team in 2021? I have always love that in my role that I get to help sales leaders, but I also learn from sales leaders while we're working together. And so I would love to hear your perspective on what really worked in 2020 and what you're really invested in in 2021 to help your team succeed. So go ahead and share that information with us. I'm also going to tell you, you are not going to want to miss next week's episode. Next week, we have guest Jennifer Cunnington, the home loan sales manager for STCU Credit Union. And she is sharing her insights from 15 plus years of leading sales teams and doing sales herself, including why the sale isn't over after the prospect says yes, and how you can set your team and yourself up so that you're not having to start from scratch when it comes to winning new business. It's a fantastic interview with lots of great insights and takeaways that you will not want to miss. In the meantime, if you liked this episode, make sure to give it a five-star review and subscribe to Sales Fiction so you can get fresh episodes downloaded as soon as they're available. 